Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. I hope everybody's well this morning. It's hump day, halfway through. Um, I finally got my nails done so you guys could stop looking at the chipped white, what essentially looked like white out, basically, at that point. Um, I got a call yesterday about one of my movies. I'm so excited. I, I feel like I've been working on this stuff for so long. It's like ingrained. It's like a part of me. And the process in Hollywood takes so long. But it looks like we're really close. It looks like we'll be shooting uh, in 2017, which is two movies, of two of my movies. I'm not in them. I just uh, created them. So I can't wait to finally be able to tell you. Hopefully you like to be scared. Uh, 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 uh. Um, all right, so I wanted to tell you, I got an email yesterday from a woman. A me no, not an email, like a private message that said... Um, I wanted to tell you that I was unfollowing you. Um, you probably don't care, but now I have come to learn now that announcing your unfollow is like the new nude selfie of self attention of like wanting attention. It's like replace the nude selfie. I'm unfollowing you. People tell you on Twitter, on Instagram. It's like, okay, we see you. Thank you. Like, what am I supposed to do? You want me to cry? You want What do you want me to do? I'm not sure what reaction you want, but typically they tell you they're unfollowing you because they want to scold you in some way or discipline you in some way. They should talk to my mom. It's not an easy task. Anyway, I bring this up because she told me she was unfollowing me because she saw... Okay, now really listen to this. She saw my post about my Instagram page. So she decided to go follow me on Instagram and was appalled at the language and the things that she saw. Um, it was not at all what she had expected. Now, I felt that I had given a very open, honest disclaimer. Okay? Um, hey, guys, many of you have asked about my Instagram page. It is much more Jersey Bell than it is Coffee Talk. Facebook and Coffee Talk will always be a safe place for us to connect, for us to love, for us to hurt together and heal together. Instagram is not that. It's a different side of my personality. I am a outspoken, loudmouth, brash, freak Nick, okay, on Instagram. Not appropriate on Instagram. Let me say it again. Not at all appropriate on Instagram, okay? I feel like I gave that disclaimer fairly. And many of you, in fact, about 500 of you came over. Um, she was appalled. So I said to her, when she wrote this to me, I said to her, just out of curiosity, did you see my disclaimer? And she said, I did. I said, did you not believe me? She said, well, I guess I believed you. I just didn't think it would be that bad. Now I went back and looked at my Instagram. It's not that bad. There's no hate speech. There's no naked pictures. There's no like bestiality. There's nothing against God. It's just brash and a little freaky at times. So, and a lot of the F word, which like, come on guys, you know me. Um, and so I wrote her back and I said, I'm, I'm comfortable letting you go. Believe me. But I want to, I'm interested to know if you do this to other people in your life. Do you hear them tell you who they are and choose to ignore it in hopes that they'll become or be what you really want them to be? And then do you guilt them or shame them when they turn out being exactly who they said they were going to be? She never responded. My guess is yes. How often in life when we share the truth about who we are, our truth, when we go, look, I am a freak Nick on Instagram, metaphorically, right? And I am, I, I showcase this part of who I am on Coffee Talk. It's not that on Coffee Talk, I'm not Instagram, Jamie. I just, there's a time and place. And I have learned in my 40 years, time and place. Okay? So, um... I digress. 
how many times in life do we show people who we are and say, this is who I am. Can you love me for me? And they say, yes. And then 20 minutes into loving you, they go, ah, I didn't, re oh, I thought you were kidding about all that. Yeah, no, I can't. Mm -mm. Or how many times do we do that to other people? We want to be loved or to love so badly that we promise them that if they are brave enough to show us who they really are, we will love them in spite of it. And then they let the wall down and they show us who they are. And we go, ah, ah no, I'm sorry. Can't do it. Nope. Can't do it. Nope. And we end up devastating them and we end up setting them back for the next person. When the next person promises to love them for who they are, it takes them light years to show who they really are because they've been burned and people do that to us. People do that to me all the time, all the time. They have this idea in their mind of who I am. Like I walk around with some shining light, always perfect. La, you know, like I'm a unicorn who poops Skittles. None of that is real. I am a woman who makes a ton of mistakes and right now has legit the worst morning breath I've ever been exposed to, but loves her coffee very much. You know, I say the wrong things and I sometimes love too hard and I sometimes hold on to pain and hurt a lot longer than I should. And sometimes old Jamie wants to come out and fight because it's the only way she knows how to protect her heart and those who love her. Uh, but I'm, but I have found creative outlets to express myself. Coffee talk being one of them. Instagram being a whole other side. And you don't have to be like, oh, I love you on Instagram. Don't feel bad. Cause I don't feel bad. That's the thing. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad about doing coffee talk every day. I don't feel bad about defending human rights on other social media. You can't shame me oh, you don't make coffee talk political, but here you are on this platform defending human rights. Oh, I'm so sorry that my defending human rights bothers you. You need to legit sit down, put your hand in your shirt, see if your heart's beating. If it is, you need to figure out where the hell you went wrong. Because anybody who has an issue with human rights, we need to talk about that. That's a whole other whatever. And on Instagram and Twitter and like whatever, I like to be a little different. Really me. Really, to be honest. Um, but my, I'm digressing again because I'm tired. My point is, do not give somebody the impression that you are a safe zone, that they can be truthful with you, that they can show you who they really are. If you are not going to step up in your growth to love them for who they are and in spite of what you don't like about them. Because if you can only surround yourself with people that you agree with and like every single part of them, okay, you're an elf and you should probably go to the North Pole. Okay? And if someone is doing that to you, if someone has promised you that they are a safe zone, that you can confide in them and be who you really are, and then they cast you aside for the truth you've shown them. Please know that that says so much more about them than it ever will about you. And in this space that I have created, you can always be exactly who you are with all your flaws and everything else. And I will protect you and I will fight for you as long as my heart is beating because that is who I am on Facebook. If you come over to Instagram, we're going to get freaky. So get ready. All right, I love you guys so much today. Have a great day.